What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of DC League of Super Pets. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I actually had a blast watching this film. DC League of Super Pets is cute and fun and exciting, and it's something that the whole family can enjoy. The story is well written and easy to follow. The voices fit their respective characters. The humor works at just the right amount. Not to mention the most important ingredient, this film has a lot of heart. Very rarely do my reactions to any film include, oh boy, I can't wait for the sequel to happen. But that's exactly what I was thinking about once this film end credits roll. Every pet owner will love it, and everybody who doesn't have a pet will wish they had. Written by Jared Stern and John Whittington and directed by Jared Stern, in DC League of Super Pets, Crypto the Superdog and Superman are inseparable best friends, sharing the same superpowers and fighting crime in Metropolis side by side. When Superman and the rest of the Justice League are kidnapped, Crypto must convince a ragtag shelter pack, Ace the Hound, PB the Potbellied Pig, Merton the turtle and Chip the squirrel to master their own newfound powers and help him rescue the superheroes. Voice starring Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Kate McKinnon, John Krasinski, Vanessa Bayer, Natasha Leon, Diego Luna, Mark Maron, Thomas Middleditch, Ben Schwartz, and Keanu Reeves. I actually didn't know what to expect going into the screening, but as a DC fan and as a Superman fan, I'm glad that the story begins with that and then it expands to the other pets. So DC League of Super Pets is an origin story for many of these guys. The comedy is also very self-aware. It makes fun of not only DC canon, but also a little bit of Spidey and other superhero stereotypes as well. But parody is not this film's objective. Those punchlines are more of a nudge and a wink and a playful jab, if you will. As far as the animation goes, it's crisp, it's bright, it's adorable. It's definitely a Metropolis sunshine colorful vibe as opposed to gloomy Gotham. And I love how the Justice League characters can be both badass and silly. They don't take themselves too seriously, which is the right approach for a family action adventure like this. And the superpowers that the pets have are creative and outlandish in a good way, which is why the destructions and the property damage are on the same massive scale as any DC movies you've ever seen. And here's the other thing that I forgot to mention. DC League of Super Pets is not afraid to show a little bit of blood, a little bit of salty language. Yes, the kids can watch this movie just fine, but it doesn't cuddle them. It doesn't condescend, nor does it talk down to them. It's very upfront about the one common fear that all pets have, which is abandonment. Many people will praise Dwayne Johnson's voice as Crypto, or Kate McKinnon as the villain Lulu. Rightfully so, both those guys are terrific in this film. But I think the one that deserves the most attention is Kevin Hart. Because here, Kevin doesn't resort to his usual loud mouth overactive panic mode like his other character Snowball from Secret Life of Pets. Kevin's dog character Ace is the surprisingly wise and sensible one. And Kevin makes Ace's cynicism funny. His dynamics with Crypto is not the odd couple but merely strangers who are not yet friends. Overall, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how enjoyable this movie is because DC League of Super Pets is a feel-good, cheer-worthy crowd-pleaser.